uh, what's going on um, out of its order. Uh, most recently produced Grimsicker's Mazza, uh, his last single. I'm going to run you through my production process. Um, I'm currently on a really old version of Reason, but Reason works well for me because it's quick, it's easy, um, and I mainly use the NNXT samplers. Everything that I, I, I build into the, the keyboard is one-shot samples, and I've, I've got a catalogue of samples that stretch over sort of 10 years, so I've got a really wide um, sound palette. Uh, and basically, normally, I'll either start, uh, nine times out of 10, I start with a sample, um, and I like really interesting samples, a lot of world music, a lot of um, really crazy electronic sounds. Um, so today I've cut up um, an old sort of Western soundtrack that's got some really nice stabs. Um, I like a lot of cinematic music, really dramatic, quite intense. Um, so I've cut it up already, which I do in Logic. I put it back into Reason as different samples, and then I'll just play all the one shots until I get some sort of rhythm. Um, normally I work around the sort of 140 BPM phase, so I'm just gonna keep a click going as I play around with some samples. So then I'll just chop that up. I'll just keep that looping in the background and then I'll start finding some drums. So I'm just gonna loop that over a, a, few, a few bars just to get a standard little loop going. So that should all sort of be quantized now in time. start adding some melodies over it. Um, I like, yeah, horns, brass, strings, anything that makes it sort of cinematic and huge sounding basically. So I'll just keep that looping, um, which is, sort of forms a nice bass sound, um, bass layer, um, in terms of literally sitting at the bottom whilst I can get a melody over, going over the top. And then as I come up with the melody, I'll probably start chopping up more of those samples that I first put in. So I prefer the first part of those samples with that melody going over it. So I'm just gonna loop that real quick now in the background. And I'm just gonna play with the horns because that stab works really well underneath it.
So once I've found, again, just keeping the loop going, once I've found a melody, I'll just put that over the top and then I can start working on the drums and the bass underneath that. So. sounds. Um, again, I like really sort of heavy 808s, like a trap, like a drill, grime sort of sounds. Um, and I'll try to keep it minimal, I don't want too much going on. Uh, uh, more times, um, my samples have got a lot going on, the brass and the melodies have got a lot going on over the top as well. So I just keep the, the bass sort of riding underneath, um, quite sparse. And I'll try and lock that in with the samples as well. I'll listen to what the samples are doing. I'll just try to lock that in um, sort of with the rhythm. I'll just keep playing around with that till I've got a good loop going. Um, so I'm happy with that last loop there. Again, just quantize it, make sure everything's tight, loop it over. Then I just started adding some more brass in the background. And I'll just keep going through sort of orchestral sounds. project that I've already got loaded up there's like a again just a really distinct sort of sound um, and it's I've put it through an arpeggiator so I'm gonna just again try to come up with some melodies over the top of that Because 
there's already a lot like lying on the bottom, so there's a lot of sort of lower sounds. Um, I'm going to try go up the top, sort of more trebly sounds at the top. Let's try lay that over the over the lower ends. Again, just a simple arpeggiated rhythm, so I'm just going to lock that in now. that chop it up I'm happy with that and then I'll start putting the drums underneath just some really heavy I'll do is I'll just play around with some of the rhythms um, because I play each part in separately. Sometimes the kicks might not match up to the snares, so I'll, I'll go back to that later and, and make sure everything sort of locks in. Um, I used to play drums, so drums are really important to me, getting the right rhythms, making sure everything sort of works together. Gonna keep layering up the drums now. Um, see what the horns sound like over that as well. And it's all just pretty much built around that one initial sample from the start. 
um, which is why I love samples so much. So if I just play that loop again. I've sort of got sounds that I can start messing around with that could uh, create an intro. There's definitely a hook in there, there's definitely verse parts in there. And then the last thing I might do is start switching up the drums so we've got some sort of more, um, some sort of more up tempo. So just double the speed. start playing around with that so there's just a bit more variation in the track um again I'll just loop that over real quick and then I've got a sort of double time part of the track that I can start playing around with Adding some sort of filler. Just some tiles to the end.
then after that I'll just literally start structuring it. So normally I'll have an intro, drop, verse one, maybe a bridge, build back up to the hook, which is what I did with Grimsickers and Mazza. Um, we had a sort of a big breakdown and then a big build up and the drop. Loop that, verse one, verse two, outro, and that's it. I'll run you what I played with earlier. The original version of this instrumental, I was just playing about with the parts and it just... That's it. 